What's up everyone? I'm Roxy and I'm Paris and if you're new to our channel We are so happy to have you here and if you've always been here then welcome, welcome back. back So in today's video we'll be sharing with you some tricks on how to avoid pesky ingrown hairs that nobody wants So these can be really painful and if you don't treat them properly It can end up really bad get infected or leave really bad marks So we're gonna share with you some tips on how to completely avoid this But before we begin don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Twitter and Snapchat They're on the screen floating about <laughs> and don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button right below you so you can keep up with us. Yeah, so with that being said, let's get right into these hacks. So now that we're going to be talking about ingrowns, what exactly are ingrowns? So ingrown hairs are actually bumps that form on the skin when the hair grows in the skin instead of out of it like it's supposed to. And this usually happens with any form of hair removal like waxing or shaving. So tip number one is to actually prevent the ingrown hair to begin with by using an antiseptic right after you shave or wax. So this is actually going to clean out your pores and prevent any kind of infection which can actually lead to an ingrown. So you can use anything from methylated spirits or witch hazel to cleanse under your arms, your bikini area and your legs right after you shave or wax. So the second hack is to actually exfoliate wherever you are waxing, especially underneath your arms and your bikini area, which can tend to be prone to having ingrown hairs. So exfoliation helps to bring the ingrown hair out from underneath the surface so that it will not be forming that bump that you get. And it will also prevent new ones from forming. So a really easy scrub that you can use is actually a baking soda and water type scrub. You just basically add some baking soda and water to form a paste and you can use that to exfoliate any areas that you're going to be removing hair from. So you apply the scrub to the area, rub it into your skin, leave it for about 5 to 8 minutes and then rinse it off. So tip number three is to make sure that you moisturize the areas that you are exfoliating and waxing because if you don't, your skin is going to get really, really dry and this is going to worsen the condition of your ingrowns and be harder for you to get them out. So make sure that you use any kind of aloe vera, vitamin E, shea butter, anything like that right after you wax and exfoliate. So another tip is especially if you are shaving, you do not want to be using rusty old shavers and blades and anything like that because those can cause infections, they can tear skin and just make the ingrown situation a lot worse than it needs to be. Also, if you need some tacks on how to shave your legs, we have a video on that that we will link in above on the screen as well as down below. So you can check those out if you need like tips on shaving your legs. So tip number five is to not shave over the same areas repeatedly and not shave every single day. Because this is going to really irritate your skin if you keep going over it and your skin is going to break and this is going to lead to infections and ingrowns are just going to pop off. So you definitely want to make sure you're not waxing or shaving every single day and repeatedly going over those same areas. And this brings us to our next hack which is if you really want long term hair removal, you can try waxing. Because in waxing the hair is actually removed from the follicle itself so there's a less likely tendency for it to cool beneath the skin and, and form an ingrown <laughs> and it will make your skin feel smoother and you won't have to be constantly wanting to remove hair as you would with shaving when your hair kind of grows back like the next day yes. sometimes so with shaving you tend to have stubble so that's why you have the urge to keep going over and over and over but if you wax it's going to come right out and it's going to be clean okay so another tip is that if you do happen to get an ingrown don't panic take a little bit of tea tree oil and rub it onto the area so this will actually moisturize the skin reduce inflammation and prevent further infection you can use the tea tree oil especially after you do that baking soda paste that we mentioned above this is a great like antiseptic as well so if you do have a stubborn ingrown, massaging tea tree oil into the area will loosen the hair without actually damaging or breaking your skin. So tip number eight is to use a hot compress if you do have an ingrown hair. And this will help to soothe any area that has irritation from an ingrown hair and it will also reduce swelling. And also the warm compress actually helps to get that ingrown hair like towards the surface more so you can eventually get rid of the ingrown. So another thing you want to do if you do have an ingrown is to use aspirin because the acid in aspirin can clean the skin and really help that affected area. So what you want to do is crush two to three aspirin pills Add some water, make it into a paste and rub it on the area so the acid will actually help to prevent infection. The last tip is to avoid clothes that chafe especially after you do any kind of yeah. hair removal process because chafing irritates the skin and that can eventually lead to an ingrown. So the best thing to do after you have your hair removed in any form or fashion definitely just go ahead and wear something that is loose fitting that won't cause any damage to your newly waxed or shaved skin so that is a wrap for this video on how to get rid of or prevent ingrown hairs we hope that you enjoyed it and if you did definitely give it a huge thumbs up for more videos like these and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any of our updates also don't forget to check out our last video we know that you'll enjoy it so thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in our next video bye Mwah. Oh, you